Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs, and Gundam Battle Operation 2 has just been updated. Uh, there is a desert map, which I'm hoping to show off in next week's episodes, but in the meantime, they have finally added the paint feature. I don't know if there's a uh, minimum uh, rank requirement to get into it. I am currently rank 4, which is about where it came in in the first game, so... It is possible that it will not be available to you right away if uh, you have not ranked up enough. But it looks very similar to the original game, except, of course, there are, you know, you only get three color set it, uh, sets of colors per mobile suit, but you get twice as many areas to uh, change on them, so I think it's a fair trade. They also have set it up so that the uh, sets are stored across mobile suits of all levels. So you, uh, you know, you don't have to transpose them from one level mobile suit to another over and over and over again. Which is nice, because that got old. So, let's just go in and take a look at it. We will start with my uh, Zaku 1 Sniper, because that is my favorite thing. It's uh, one of my favorite mobile suits at the moment. So, let's see. Um, yeah, the right stick, of course, uh, moves the model so you can look at various things. Uh, L2 and R let you, uh, move it up and down. Um, L3 resets position. L2 and L3 clears the uh, menu off the screen so you can get a, a clear look at it. Um, the right stick turns and all that, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they have changed a few options. Uh, let's just go into uh, uh, the shoulders here. Uh, besides the uh, sliders, you can now hit circle to go into the color picker, which... Um, yeah, L1 and R1 control the saturation. I'm just discovering this for myself. I just woke up and I saw this and I wanted to uh, do something with it, so... You know, we're, we're learning together, but... I just figured this would be something that everybody would want to see. Um, I usually like to go for relatively dark blues. Let's go for a nice, yeah, muted blue there. And there's that. Um, specular. I'm not quite sure what specular does. I think it's like... No, I'm not sure, but... Highlight is how glossy it is. If you want your mobile suit super shiny, it can be done. But I think I'm going to make it unspecular and unshiny. Um, I think specular may put specific highlights on it. Let's put that up to 100 without highlight and see. Hmm... Okay, no, specular is basically gloss, and then highlight will give you a little, you know, trying to adjust it so that it shows one, but... Yeah, they both basically... I want to say it's probably two different kinds of shininess, just for the record, so... I will turn off the shininess. I'm going to uh, turn off the weathering when I'm done, too. Ah, there. I don't want it weathered. I want it to be... Okay, actually, without the weathering, I can actually turn that uh, blue down by about half to get the uh, muted effect I'm looking for. So, yeah, let's just make it pure blue with no anything else to brighten it at that. Highlight zero. Okay, now it can be a little bit a little bit more blue with maybe a little bit of the other colors mixed in. Um, a little brighter, just a little. That's a pretty good color. Let's take it to 40, 10, 10 and go and see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now here's the thing. I can back out of this. And now uh, hit square to copy and circle to paste. So you do not have to do that a hundred times. Um, yeah. So, what's that? Yeah, I'll make the head that color, too. Uh, the torso, let's make that a little bit brighter. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Um, 
I like to go against the standard Zaku convention of, uh, you know, bright limbs, dark torso sometimes. Just for a change. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, okay. I'd like to back out of this menu now. There we go. It's a few more clicks of X to get out of that menu than you think it should be. Um, cockpit hatch, however, I am going to make this flat black. Oh yeah, I need to uh, turn off highlights and specular on that last piece, too. And... There does not seem to be a shortcut that takes it straight to zero, or if there is, I don't know it. So, yeah, turn off specular and highlight. I do not wish to be shiny. For one thing, I'm a sniper. I don't want anyone to catch a glint of me, possibly. Um... Yeah, however, that said, let us do, uh, let's do some post-one-year war coloring and make the cockpit hatch red. I'm, I, I was talking to, uh, some folks about that, uh, Bop, aka Maelstrom included, and I'm under the impression, personally, that the reason you see so many red cockpit hatches, uh, after the one-year war is that there was some form of treaty that basically, uh, says don't shoot directly at the, uh, uh, cockpit. Which, okay, let's copy-paste that shoulder armor into the darker color scheme. Copy-paste those feet into that. Um, but, you know, there are very, there are very similar treaties uh, uh, very frequently in real-life wartime. And so, you know, if, the, if they can't shoot at actual, at people, if they can't shoot directly at people, and that's generally uh, how those treaties go, they don't. They shoot at equipment, belts, helmets boots. You get the idea. Um, I think I'm gonna make the backpack just a little bit brighter than the rest. Not shiny, but brighter. Oh, this is like the backpack interior, the details. Um, actually, let's back out and make them the red. And then make the main backpack a brighter blue than the rest of it. A brighter and purer blue than the rest. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, let's ratchet that up to a 70 even, turn off specular and highlights, and yeah, so that is going to be my, uh, oh, uh, the red also affects the uh, workings on the knee, neato, okay, yeah, so, backing out, yeah, okay, yeah, so that is my uh, first custom color scheme, I think actually, I'm actually going to turn this, actually, let me just do it the simple way. I'm going to copy-paste that blue onto these parts, too, because I want a little bit more contrast between the uh, arms and the torso. So, yeah. Okay, that is going to be super visible, so that's probably not my best idea, but why not? If it turns out to be a liability, I will just turn it back off. But, yeah, that is how, that is how the paint works, and... On this menu, if you want, you can hit square to copy and take this uh, color set to an entire other mobile suit and paste it in. But since the locations uh, correspond to different things, it may take some fine uh, tuning to get that to work. But you can always just copy back over it if you don't like it, so, you know, no great loss. So yeah, that is the paint and how the paint do, and we will be back with more Gundam Battle Operation 2 soon. So, until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!